So today we're going to talk about how to have a significant day. So I specifically would like to go into Psalm 9012, which says, Teach us to number our days aright, that we may have a heart of wisdom. And so let me take you to a story. Every year I go on a silent retreat. And it's a wonderful retreat where three days you're alone with God. And then on Thursday evenings, so though, before we get started, the pastor gives us a particular instruction and talk how to create a really good retreat. And so he's, every year he starts out with the same joke. He's been telling this joke for the past 40 years. He says, for you younger guys, it's like a discovery and you're discovering each thing on your journey. And for you older guys, it's like cramming for the finals. And he gets this laugh. But you know, behind the laugh and behind that, he's talking about the brevity of life. And it's a very important point, and it's part of our discussion today, that life is short. So the question is, how do you make each and every day count? So part of that, I'd like to share three insights to help you make a really good, significant day. So the first point is to live in daytight compartments. And I got this great insight from Dale Carnegie, who wrote the book, how to stop worrying and start living. And there's just great wisdom behind this particular phrase. You know, basically we just need to live in today only and be those days be day tight, not worrying about the future and not regretting the past. And just living in the present and capturing all the moments within the present. So that would be the first one. The second one relates to now choose life. And this comes from Moses' famous last words before he's turning over the reins to Joshua. And they have significance. And he basically says, I present to you life and death, blessings and curses, now choose life. And it's summed up in these three important words. Now, present day, this day, choose. God has given us the freedom to choose. And then life. And you could replace life with now choose joy, now choose peace over worrying, um, now choose harmony over conflict. Each day we have choices and it's now choose life. And the third point is collecting gems, grateful, encouraging moments. In each and every day we have these moments in which you need to capture and be grateful for and be on the lookout for them as well as encouraging moments that encourage you for the day, but also opportunities to encourage others and recognizing moments, being aware of these moments of significance that define your day. And finally, when you collect those gems, when your head hits the pillow at night, recall the gems and just pray to God and thank Him for these moments that made this day. And so basically, you're framing the day from start to finish with uh, gratitude for this day, regardless of whether there were good things or bad things in the day, there's a level of gratitude for the day.